It is wild Wednesday here on Good Day Columbus. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> Man, <it's laughs> Lucky no. for you. Um, Tiffany Dollins with the Columbus Zoo is joining us live from their kangaroo walkabout. Hey, uh, good eye, Tiffany. That's right. Good morning. <laughs> hey, this is such a cool. Good morning, guys. How are you? We're doing very well. How are the kangaroos? They're doing wonderful this morning. They were a little sleepy at first, but I think they're just waking up behind us and kind of eating Aww. some brows that they put out for him for breakfast. What are those they're eating? But we are live here. They're eating some brows. It's a mix of different greens, some um, leaves that they actually collect from around the zoo here. Um, we have a great department that actually goes around and trims some tree branches around the zoo so that our animals around the zoo can get some more natural enrichment. Huh. Well, we know that it's kind of like hot and humid today, and I mean, obviously they're they're quite furry. They're, how do kangaroos like the heat? You know, kangaroos they will find shade when they do get hot because in Australia you have um, humidity and temperatures just like you're going to find here in the United States. So it kind of varies throughout Australia. So they'll find shade if they get too hot. You'll see them laying on their side underneath the little shade structures and the trees that are inside their exhibit. And uh, what you're seeing behind me are red kangaroo. We do have one gray kangaroo on exhibit, but mostly reds. And they are the largest species of kangaroo found in Australia. So these guys can get up to 200 pounds a male could when full grown. Is that wow. one that's kind of like just still laying down back in the background back there? Like, hey, leave me alone. I don't want to get up yet. I'm sorry, what was that? I, it looks like there's one that's still kind of laying down back there, not quite ready to get into the morning routine. Right. Like I said, they, they are just waking up for the morning. Some of them are more early risers than other, um, you know, just like us. It, it takes them a, a couple of minutes to kind of get up and going. And if you notice the size variation, there are different ages here. There are also mostly females. We actually only have one male on exhibit. He's the largest out of all of them. But you won't see any babies here on exhibit. We don't have any breeding males here on exhibit, just the one male and uh, then all of the females. Now, we mentioned how hot it gets, Tiffany, and they do like that. What about Ohio winters? Right. Mm -hmm. It's an outdoor exhibit. What do you do? Well, you know, this... This exhibit is only open until the end of Boo at the Zoo. So the end of October, beginning of November is when we're going to shut down. And we do have a heated barn for the kangaroo because their fur will get a little bit thicker in the winter here in Ohio, but they couldn't withstand the snow and the harsh Ohio temperatures that we get here in the winter. So, so you won't be able to see them out in the snow during wild lights, but you will see whoa. them until the end of Boo at the Zoo. Oh, there they go hopping. Oh, yeah, That's what we wanted to see. That whole, so These in the wintertime, they don't... actually... Yeah. These guys can actually leap a single bound 26 feet in one single bound Whoa. and get up to 25 miles per hour. So I saw that out of the corner of my eye, what you guys probably saw, that nice leap that they had behind there. So yeah. just getting in their morning stretches this morning. Nice, a little kangaroo, kanga, kangasthetics. <laughs> Calisthenics out there for kangaroos. Yeah, kangasthetics. But when you... When you visit the kangaroo walkabout, you're going to see that all day. You can actually come in on the path, walk with the kangaroo. Now, we want to stress it's not an interactive exhibit, so they okay. don't encourage going up to the kangaroo or touching the kangaroo, but sometimes you'll see a little sneaky guy uh, on the path here. It's best not to reach out and touch them because kangaroos do, what, do give what we call a little kangaroo hug, which isn't always a friendly thing. They're in a big group called macropod, which means big foot. So I don't know if you saw that big back foot, but it does have a very long toenail. They have very strong tails that they'll actually lean back on and can kick out with that back foot. And then, of course, they're marsupials. So they do have that pouch in which they'd carry their babies in if they were to have a baby. All right. Well, Tiffany at the uh, Columbus Zoo, thank you so much. And thanks to the kangaroos because we know it's it's early for them. So uh, we appreciate it. It looks cool. I want to go. Yes. Go and walk yeah. about with the kangaroos. Yeah,